Meanwhile, the engineers are tackling the Storega slide and trying to get the umbilical cord, or control cable, run from the template to the control center, 120 kilometers away. But to do this, they have to find a way through the rough and tumble terrain left in the wake of the slide. The solution is to build an underwater excavator, agile and strong enough to handle the job. It's a daunting prospect. That is, until they built the spider. The machine that inspired this one was originally built for the Swiss forest industry. And like its Swiss cousin, the spider moves along using powered tracks and articulated legs. Its mission is to excavate six trenches at water depths up to 1,000 meters. The biggest of them is a four meter wide by four meter deep monster trench, big enough to drive a truck through. One spider is outfitted with a powerful shovel. It's strong enough to cast aside a three ton boulder. Instead of a shovel, the other spider has a suction nozzle. Powerful water jets break up the sea bottom and the nozzle sucks it up and fires the mud to the side. All the while, the spiders will contend with slopes up to 35 degrees. There are sensors on all movable parts connected through an umbilical from a support vessel, which floats above and monitors its progress. The umbilical carries power and control cables and lets operators manipulate the six meter long spider to within 10 centimeters of accuracy, 10 centimeters from a thousand meters above. It's an unprecedented mobilization of such complicated and agile robots. In all, these two champion diggers managed to excavate 3,500 cubic meters of soil, creating a safe path for the gas pipeline.